Okay, so Tubububa's Castle is a lot more difficult than it is in regular mode. We've got red clubbas basically everywhere, and we've got to avoid them at all costs, because they are really powerful. But we got the first of the keys that we need, so we're going to start exploring the right half of the dungeon. Alright, I'm just... I'm on the... <laughs> I'm being extra wary. <laughs> extra wary of any, uh... <laughs> Oh jeez. Extra worry of any red clubbers. All right. I actually think that charging the smack is easier on the GameCube controller once you get the timing down. We're gonna save that MP for now. Oh no. No! That's not good. <laughs> I'm still not the best at timing Bo, to be fair. Alright, take that stupid clubba. It's better that I practice bow smack on these guys rather than wait until the boss, because something tells me the boss is still going to be a little bit tricky. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Oh, we got a level up. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that close to getting a level up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> nice to see that payoff and money money are still working as intended. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's see what we should equip. Actually, we've... I realistically should equip... No, Zaptap's not going to help me against the clubbers at all. Hmm... This is actually kind of tough. Uh, I guess I'll equip FP Plus for now. I don't have anything better. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Wah! Let's power bomb him. We got the FP now. Oh man, that is difficult to tap A that fast. Bombette, I really hope your power bomb increases massively once we get you to ultra rank. I also need to remember I have sleep stomp. <laughs> Like, seriously, Power Bomb only deals one extra damage per enemy compared to Power Shell. And Power Shell takes, like, less than half the FP. Ow! You little butt. Oh, hi. Um, let's try Lullaby. I really don't want to have to deal with four clubs at once. What?! Are you serious? Clubbers are supposed to be super susceptible to sleep. Ouch. Guess I should have used Refresh instead, wow. Oh, here you go, Mario. Have a refreshing... <laughs> refresh. There we go. Four star points to my name. whoop de doo <laughs> But at least we get a lot of money for the house. Alright, we need... we need <laughs> Bombette, you're not worth it. I'm just gonna use Cooper instead. Yeah, I remember you. Don't remember you. Oh my 
gosh! <laughs> He's too fast! <laughs> so this club is sleeping in front of a crack. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. Boom, we pull up the wall, and we get the first strike against this moron. <laughs> I love the face the clubbers make when they die. They're like, no, 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 no. I I just realized I am almost capped. I almost have capped my BP. I think I can only level up BP twice more in the entire game. Which is fantastic. Alright, uh, I think one of these leads to the spring, and I can't remember which one. Dog on it. I couldn't remember if that one led to the spring or the. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Guess we're climbing back up. <laughs> With a speedy spin, you can just outrun those guys uh, potentially. At least in that room, you can. Okay, good. It, it has saved that I have defeated all the clubbas in this room, except for the red clubba, obviously. Man, that club is relentless. Alright. I destroyed the panel that is useless to destroy. That's the one you want to do first, so you get the shortcut back up. And then this is the one that leads to the new badge. The D down jump! So now we can jump on an enemy's head and uh, pierce their defense. Not a bad badge! I'd probably prefer it to D down pound. But sometimes D down pound is more useful. Hey, Janae! How's it going? You can ground pound the plank so you don't fall through. <laughs> yeah! Apparently you can. If you time it just right. Okay, red clubba. I'm gonna let you get out of the way. Oh, hi. I didn't expect you here. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect all you here! <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Well... Yes, uh, Cooper, I'm gonna need your power shell. Yeah, a Quake Hammer plus two power shells will destroy them all. Whereas you would need two power bombs otherwise. <laughs> Which one is the better deal? This one is. Okay, I'm gonna focus, because I kind of need some more star power. <laughs> I need another refresh. Because I am now out of FP. <laughs> it's okay, though. I think I have some FP refilling items. Which is good, because we don't have a heart block near us. There's not even a heart block outside of the, uh... <gasps> Yeah, we are, uh, oh no. This, this could be bad. Run, please. Oh no. This is bad. We might be, oh no. It wouldn't let me action guard those. That sucks. That, that sucks. Although, admittedly, we didn't lose a whole lot of time, because I kind of lost us some time having to climb back up the mansion. We are also about to level up. After the next battle, we will level up, so I'm going to preemptively... What did I equip? Oh yeah, I equipped an, an FP+. Plus. Oh, never mind. That was pointless. Alright. Whew! Just barely escaped its clutches. Boom!
Actually, I'm just gonna let them damage me. <laughs> that way I get more money, because I'm about to level up. Alright, I, I gotta... <laughs> I basically have to end battles with, bo uh, with bow out, or immediately switch to bow after the battles, just to avoid those red clubbers. That's what I'm gathering from this. Alright. I'm actually going to... Let's see. I have leveled up BP last time, but it actually... I think HP is going to be more useful. Again, I kind of need that survivability, and right now there are no badges that I really want to equip. So I'm going to just take the extra survivability. Also, I think if I avoid power bombing, I can preserve my FP a little better. I still can't believe Quake Hammer only takes one FP if you have Flower Saver. <laughs> so good. Cowabunga! Get out of here, Clubbus. Alright, we gotta fight our way back up, but I think there's only one other enemy that I really need to fight before we get caught back up. Actually, no, wait, there's one up here as well. Forgot about him. Oh, yeah! I, how, did I, how did I forget about this guy? <laughs> there, why is there an earthquake happening in our mansion? This doesn't seem right. Top of all, that needs to do something about the foundation. Man, even with damage dodge and action guards being twice as effective, they still are dealing out this much damage. I shudder to think what the later worlds like Shiver Mountain are going to be like. Those gulpids could probably just, like, insta-kill you. Man, Cooper is significantly more useful in pro mode than he is in the regular game. <laughs> but again, I don't think it's because Cooper got any better, it's just because Bombette got worse. Alright. Come on out to play boat. We we're gonna I need your assistance. That's the wrong way, Red Clubba. Yes, that's the way I want you to go. Yeesh <laughs> Hello colorful Eddie. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Alright. My favorite thing to do to club is... <laughs> That's why you don't sleep on the job. <laughs> and thankfully, if you get the first strike like that, doesn't cost any FP. I'm kind of surprised that you can jump on clubbers. I feel like it would be- Oh, you want me to jump on the spiked club? Ow! <laughs> that hurts! Alright. I remember now. This one leads to the trampoline. <laughs> Help me, Paracarry. Thank you, Paracarry. D down jump is mine. I don't think D down jump is going to be at all useful in this area, but it'll help in uh, future worlds. Ow! Well, that was rude. Also, I think, I, I'm pretty sure a change that they made to the clubbers in pro mode is that they are significantly less likely to fall asleep. Like, I used Lullaby, and maybe I just got super unlucky, but it only affected one out of four clubbers. Alright. 
Let's focus, get our star meter back up a bit. I don't need to use refresh right now, I want to get the full FP bonus out of it. There you go, Clubbas, take that. It's sad that I'm only getting one star point for Clubba now. It's almost not worth fighting them. Alright, now we are going to change to bow to make sure that red Clubba doesn't come after us. Actually, I think the red club is too far off screen. Okay, how frequently does it come back up? All right, I didn't know if that the, if I didn't know if they had changed how fast the spikes come back up. I didn't want to be in for a nasty surprise. Ouch! All right, I'll just take the damage. Sure, that works. <laughs> Wee! I'll take the awake one. I don't want I don't want the one that's asleep to unexpectedly wake up and make my life hell. Let's get that star piece and book it to the shortcut. <laughs> oh my gosh, speedy spin, you're so good. Actually, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't wanna get another game over. Dude, I just am gonna go out of the castle on my own. I don't need to see the animation of you grabbing me. Save early, save often. A good strategy in life in general. But especially if you're playing a hard mode hack. Darn it! <laughs> you're not allowed in Tumble Bulba's castle! Get out of here! What the heck is that thing even supposed to be? I always thought it was like a jellyfish, but... It's probably supposed to be like a ghost of some kind. Because it's got the bed sheet. Unfortunately, I think this means the club has respawn. I'm glad. I'm glad for the shortcut, though. The shortcut is definitely going to help. Get out of here, Red Claw. Okay. I'm pet. I am terrified that he's going to wake up if I walk by him, but. Okay, they don't wake up any more easily. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now I am going to refresh. And switch to Cooper, obviously. I love how he makes, like, five stars near you, but it refills seven of everything. Cooper, come out to play! Thank you, Quick Change. <laughs> I am so glad I went back and got Quick Change. Even though the Junior Troopa fight was difficult. Oh my gosh. I still lost HP that turn, even after using Refresh. That's how much these guys damage. <laughs> this is why you need FP moves that deal damage to all enemies. Especially cheap ones, <laughs> so we can preserve our FP. There, die clubbas. Pushing the clock is going to be difficult, though. Because I believe pushing that clock gives leads to a star piece. I should switch to bow just in case. I believe there's a star piece behind... Or actually, no, no, no. Oh, no, there's something better than a star piece behind there. Oh, I guess the red club I didn't notice. Oh yeah, this room. Yes, we want to go to this room. This room has another pretty well-hidden secret. So first it's got the coins. But if you jump on the bed frame and on the shelves over here... It's the Mega Rush Badge! When Mario's in peril, his attack power goes up by four. This badge was my savior on my level zero playthrough of the vanilla game. Oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Wow, he can... Wow! Are you guys seeing this? What the heck? Where can I get hover boots? <laughs> I paid a visit to the Shadow Temple! Oh, I'm full on items. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have a dizzy dial. 
I'm gonna throw away a Dizzy Dial, but then... I think I was... Uh, yeah. I did throw away my honey syrup. I'll eat my fried egg, then. That was a clubba uh, walking on air and then phasing through a railing. Pretty normal, pretty standard clubba stuff. Oh, I believe this is where... Mmm, what's this? <laughs> I smell something very fishy. Hi, I want to be friends! <laughs> oh, he's mad. This is Tubbobola. He's one of Bowser's toughest followers, and he's the master of this cursed castle. His defense power is unknown. Everyone says he's invincible because he's never been hurt. I'd say it's a good idea to run from immortal enemies. If you get in deep trouble, Bo can hide you from him. But he- oh, he still only has ten- oh, why?! Why is that- why is the meter for running away that low? Oh, he is fast now. Okay, this guy is, like, as fast as a red clubber now. Good thing I have speedy spin, or I'd be in deep trouble. Oh, it's this room. This is my favorite room in the, uh, the whole dungeon. Alright, we sneak up and then... <laughs> oh, I love that room. I don't bother fighting those clubbers. Especially if they only give me one star point apiece. Bum ba da dum bum bum Better save, save your game. Do 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 Alright. Oh, it's nice to see that Tubbo Bubba's got a table for, with books at it. He's a very well-read clubba. Or whatever species they are. Hmm, I might be in trouble. That star spirit ran away, and now I think someone suspicious is in the castle. I sure don't want to make King Bowser mad. He's scary. He did make me invincible, but if I screw up, he might change me back to normal. Time for some beauty rest! <laughs> Tubba Bubba is one of those guys who can just fall falls asleep as soon as his head hits the pillow. Hi there! I'm Yaki! A faithful and chatty follower of Master Tubba Bubba! My very important job is to guard his valuables! But... You don't look like Master Tubba Bubba at all! That means... You've come here to steal me the magical key that unlocks the door to Windy Mill at the foot of Gusty Gulch? And furthermore, your goal is to find out if there's a secret inside that windy mill. Uh, yeah! <laughs> You're a very honest person, aren't you? Help! Master Tubba Bubba! A thief! Huh? What's all the noise? Five more minutes, Mom. Oh no, he's awake! We have to run! Oh, thankfully, he still thinks it's his mom calling him. Hey, you thief! Stop! <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this part. Oh man, the chase is going to be so much more hectic if he's like double speed as well. He is definitely marching faster. <laughs> wow. You're not taking very good of your mansion, are you, buddy? What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! <laughs> Oh yeah, he's moving at a much faster rate. What if you didn't have speedy spin? <laughs> if you didn't have speedy spin, this would be a significantly more dangerous. <laughs> oh no! I feel so bad for his guards now. They're like, stupid Tubba Bubba! 
At last, we've arrived at Tubba Blubba's castle. Are you ready, everyone? Be brave! We must do all we can to help Lady Bo. But what can we do? This is no time to lose our nerve, fellow boos. Our dear lady is fighting against Tubba Blubba himself. We mustn't hesitate. Come back here! What's that noise? Tubba Blubba's chasing you, and he's right on the other side of the door! <laughs> what? You might be able to find out what Tubba Blubba's weak point is? Oh, of course! The windmill at the foot of the hill! You must hurry! Run as fast as you can to the windy mill! We'll hold Tubba Blubba here! It's too dangerous! He's a madman! He'll eat every last one of you! Ugh, why won't this door open? I don't know how long we can keep holding this. Don't worry about us. Go, for all our sakes. Don't look back. Alright, we're going to set up our badges for the upcoming boss fight. Because guess what? We don't need payoff or money money. <laughs> we also don't need Sweep Stomp. Pretty sure he's immune to that. We also don't need Quake Hammer. Alright, that's 7 BP. Alright, I think this might be a good time to start using Power Bounce, maybe? Maybe power jump. Actually, no. Power bounce is just going to be flat out better. Provided it still only takes free FP. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a better choice. Um, I like dodge master and power bounce, too. That makes it a little simpler. <laughs> I don't even think I could try to get into peril and equip mega rush, but that might be a dumb idea. I'll equip close call, maybe? Actually, an FP plus is going to be useful here. So I'm going to unequip Dodge Master so I can equip an FP plus. Because I'm going to have to use out of sight for the boss fight. I smell delicious ghosts! Open the door! <laughs> well, that's right, all the fake clefts. Nope. Stupid rock. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they put a hypercliff so close to the spawn? <laughs> For my level 0 run, I 100% got into peril before the boss fight and equipped Mega Rush. It was worth it. I'm going in without full star power, which is... Not what I like doing, but... There's not a whole lot of other options. We're going to use the Mystical Key and enter the well. Or, I'm sorry, the windmill. No entry allowed. I love these signs. Oh, hi. Actually, we can focus in here. <laughs> I at least want one full bar before doing this. Please ch supercharge up. Yes! What a maroon. Excellent. We got extra star power, a couple star points, and we are ready to go. Yeah, the FP Plus is going to be useful because we can, we're going to have to use Out of Sight for this fight. And that takes more FP than it did last time in the vanilla game. Really? No entry allowed! Absolutely no entry allowed! Alright, gotta get out Goombario, and are we all ready for the boss fight? Who are you? What? Mario, did someone tell you that I'm the secret strength of Tubba Blubba? Someone spilled the beans that the Tubba Blubba in the castle is just a shell, and I'm controlling it from here? You can't trust anybody. I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body. Sorry, but here we go. Oh, but... Uh, of course there would be enemies here, wouldn't there? 
That sucks. All right, well, we're going to tattle on Tubba's heart. This is Tubba's heart. You might say it's the heart of Tubba's secret. Ha! <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. He has a terrible attack, so hide when he tells you he's about to unleash it. Try to beat him before he can use his huge attack again. Trust me, it's dangerous. This is Bo's turn to shine. Well, actually, no. All right, he's charging. <laughs> I'm gonna do this great attack. It's impossible to avoid. I just have to prepare a bit, so hang on for a second. The irony is, his regular attack, and this is now as powerful as his super powerful attack, would have been... in the other games. In, like, the vanilla game. Alright. Well, let's take out... this Hyper Goomba. We're gonna switch to Bow and use Out of Sight. Almost selected do nothing there. This is why I take it slow. That attack is going to deal 24 damage if it hits, so yeah, we got to avoid that. So we still haven't even attacked his heart yet. I'm going to power jump this guy, or power bounce. What? What a chip! Why did it... I only jumped on him twice! That dealt less damage than a regular jump. What What a chip. Hey you, Lady Ghost, you look quite tasty. Stick around after the battle. Fighting makes me hungry. Blah! You wish! You don't have a chance, you ghost goblin freak! Mario, now I'm really mad. Let's beat this fiend up. <laughs> Right, I'm putting this stupid Hyper Goomba out of his misery. <sighs> oh boy. I'm actually scared of this boss. Because this boss's regular attack is pretty powerful even in vanilla game, and it's going to deal so much damage. Like, his, if he just keeps spamming his special attack, then that's great. But if he keeps doing his regular attack, then we are in trouble. <laughs> Alright, let's try power bouncing this guy. Power Bounce sucks in this! Yeah, I, I I guarded that and it dealt 8 damage. Like, what the heck? Hey, Mobius. Uh, no, I do not normally stream Sunday night. In fact, I, like, never stream Sunday night. Well, uh, power, yeah, why is Power Bounce so bad in this? Like, not only did they make it take double the BP to equip, but, like, the damage caps? What the heck? Damage caps at three? Like, come on. I get the Power Bounce was busted, but you went way too far in the opposite direction for to try to fix it. <laughs> to the point that it's now, like, a really bad badge. <laughs> Ouch. Slap, 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 slap. Alright, he's halfway down. Actually, a little more than that, because he, but the battle ends before he reaches zero. Out of sight. Do they have defense? It shouldn't matter. As long as you're as long as you deal at least one damage on the first bounce, it's supposed to deal at least a bare minimum of one damage per bounce. The only time it's supposed the power bounce is supposed to deal zero damage is if you use power bounce on an enemy and the first jump is not enough to inflict any damage. That's the only time it's supposed to fail. Alright, we gotta get our HP back up. <laughs> I'm just going to keep using Refresh as long as I can. It's pretty great. It restores H a lot of HP and a lot of FP. And it's not finite use, like uh, items are. If, if this guy had any, any defense, then Bo would be totally unable to inflict any damage on him. 
Alright, this should be the end of Tubba Blubba's heart. Actually, I think if we slap... I'm not gonna risk slapping him. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I get a full slap on him, then the battle will end, but I'm not risking it. Especially since they might have made a change to pro mode. And if he gets that attack off on me, then I'm dead. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Owie! Oh, I'm hurting! I have to get out of here! Alright, well, uh, okay, we are unequipping Power Bounce, without a doubt. I wonder if they'll make regular Tubble Bulba any tougher. Alright, I'm gonna equip Power Smash. Actually, eh. None of these are really going to be useful for the battle. I don't think. I guess I'll just re-equip uh, Money Money then. <laughs> I do not want to attack you. Get out of here, stupid Hyper Goombas. I don't have time for small fry like you. <laughs> Still remembers that I beat that one. There we go. It's not too hard to jump over them. Part of me kind of hopes that this battle against Tubbo will be a little tougher, but I'm pretty sure he only has 10 HP, so... It's time to reunite! Oh yeah, now I'm feeling good. With my heart and body united, there's no way to beat me. Well, you think that, Tubba Blubba. This is Tubba Blubba, now reunited with his heart. This is finally his true self. Be careful, because I'm not exactly sure what his other attacks can do. But I think he's definitely weaker than before. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, he does have a lot more HP. Okay. I should not have done that then. Alright, well, we can have Bo out of sight me. But I need to get my HP up. Should not have equipped money money. Yeah, okay, I'm actually kind of happy that we get a legit fight with this guy now. But equipping Money Money was a mistake. And we don't get a heal between the battles, which is going to be tough. Oh no! Oh, it's just shrunk, okay. I can deal with being shrunk. Because guess what can cure shrinking? <laughs> Refresh! <laughs> Is it there anything Refresh can't do? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, Jimmy? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using Out of Sight to avoid damage. So one of his attacks can do status effects, and the other one is just super powerful. Doggone it! Stop doing that! I could try to make him dizzy, but that's probably not a good idea. Oh, that, that cures shrinking and poisoning, and restores FP. I kind of need to focus right now, honestly. Oh yeah, this is a legit fight now. I, I, I dig it. I hate how he keeps doing that. I don't know how to action guard that one. Alright, this is my last Super Shroom. <laughs> Alright, good. Yeah, 
Yeah, refreshes. Refresh's ability to cure status effects is actually one of the underrated parts of it, even in vanilla game. In, in pro mode, though, Refresh is just, like, the end-all, be-all best Star Spirit. <laughs> At least until we get Star Storm. Star Storm is probably still going to be busted. Hey, Prince Dusk, how's it going? We are fighting Tubba Bubba, and it is legitimately tough. Ouch. Exhibit A. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, I think this is it. Oh, wait, no, not quite. I actually might be done for. I might I I could use my repel gel. Oh wait, I have another super shroom. I thought I had used them all. All right, if he does his ground pound attack, I have to action guard it. All right, at least he didn't shrink me though. All right, Bo, you got to smack. Die, 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 die! Yow! Oh my gosh! That was a tough fight, but I love that. Oh, oh no! With my heart and body united, I'm not invincible anymore! Now I'm back to not invincible, Tubba Bubba! That's so lame! I give up! Look, I'll give back all the ghosts I ate! Forgive me! Oh yeah, Tubble Will has the best boss music. I shudder to think what Huff and Puff is going to be like. I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body! I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you! <laughs> oh, poor guy. This game promotes bullying. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Serves you right, and everyone who has gotten eaten has returned safely. Hooray! But I guess I'd better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubba anymore. See? Don't bully. We used to love scaring Tubba Blubba night and day because he was such a coward. Oh well, we're not sorry for it. Scaring folks is what ghosts do, so boo on him. Ha, okay, never mind. <laughs> Besides, that was a pretty invigorating experience. I've never felt so full of excitement before. And, ahem, <clears throat> it was also a good learning experience. I think I'd better experience some more of the outside world. So, I think I'll accompany you a little longer. Is that okay, Mario? Of course it's okay, right? Yes. Done. You're so lucky to be able to travel with me. <laughs> here you go, Mario. I'm giving you back the star spirit, as I promised. Bootler, snap to it. Come over here. Here, Mario. He's free now. He was hiding in my handkerchief the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the boost tormented him for years, so... I mean, he... Eating the booze in retaliation is going a little far. And now we get best star spirit. End of chapter. After solving the secret of Invincible Tubba Blubba, Mario and party set free the star spirit Scholar. Now, with Tubba Blubber just a bad dream, the boos are free to haunt to their heart's content. Even the lonely wind echoing through Gusty Gulch seems to be celebrating the victory. At least, for now. With the newest party member, Bo, in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on the next challenge. <laughs> hey, Mr. B, how's it going? Happy Monday! <laughs> oh, that's why you were asking if I streamed on Sunday, uh, Mobius. No, it's Monday! Trust me, it's Monday. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, Peach. I wonder how Mario's doing. Do you think he found a way to beat Tubba Blubba? I wonder too. I'm so worried. What if Mario got hurt? Well, um, no use wondering. Why don't we go out and try to eavesdrop again? If Mario managed to beat Tubba Blubba by now, Bowser and his followers will be really, really mad. Don't you think? You may be right, Twink. There's no use just sitting around worrying like this. Let's see what we can find out. I wonder if they'll have. I wonder if they'll change the dialogue that you can choose what Bowser's going to set as traps. That would be really interesting. I, I really hope they do. Like, it might be like, you can't leave Super Sodas now. You have to leave enemies. It would be funny if Bowser's like, even I know he's not scared of a Thunder Rage. It can't be! No, no, no! Explain that again, slowly! 
Your wretchedness, I keep trying to tell you. Tumble Baba was... Oh, defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange, because you told me he was invincible! How can you beat someone who's invincible? Ugh, stupid Mario. I guess maybe he found out the secret that made Tumble Baba not quite so invincible. And then he beat him. Gah! I despise Mario! Really? Your filthiness, we have to come up with another tactic, and quickly. Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just by having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah! Kami Koopa, you've got to find out what Mario hates and... Oh, I'm so mad. I'm gonna turn around a couple times and... Huh? Gah! For the love of... Why? Why is Princess Peach here? What is wrong with those guards? No, wait, hang on. This is actually good timing, my mischievous princess. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest! Which one of these feeds does Mario hate the most? Goomba, Kalba, or Mushroom? Oh, it's the same mushroom. Mmm, I see. Excellent! Is there another feed that fills him with dread? Thunder Rage. Good, good. And how about these feeds? Which of these does he hate? Super Soda. Oh, excellent! Perfect! Thanks, Princess! <laughs> be sure Mario can't avoid these feeds he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that, Kirby Koopa? Get going immediately! <laughs> you of course your naughtiness. Mario's really in for it now. Or is he? Hmm, I started to wonder for a second there. But then again, King Bowser's ordered this, so I have no choice but to obey him. I guess we'll see. Of course you will! My tactics are brilliant! They're pure art! So, Kami Koopa, have Princess Peach taken back to her room immediately. Finally, we will witness the end of Mario at last! <laughs> Guards, attention! Take Princess Peach back to her room at once! <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, not again. Oh, sorry about the loud Bowser voice. Sorry, I get a little too into voicing Bowser. <laughs> Rip headphone users. What voice did I give this guy again? I don't even remember. Hello again, Mario. I knew you could do it. I don't know how to thank you. I knew it was the right decision to ask you to help us. You're a great man. Now that I'm free, I can help you. Ha! Oh, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't change the dialogue options for Bowser. Mario Center at Star Energy goes up to free. Mario can now use Star Storm, a new Star Spear power. With Star Storm, you can attack all enemies. Yeah, it's an amazing ability. <laughs> Mario, I have one bit of bad news. Unfortunately, Bowser's life force seems to be getting stronger all the time. Most likely, it's the Star Rod that's giving him more power. We're not even sure if he's noticing it or not, but there's no question that it's making him stronger than before. We will have to be much more careful in the coming trials. Ah, I'm sorry to leave, but I must go back to Starhaven. The other star spirits are waiting there for me. Oh, and if you could, please keep it a secret that I got lost in Forever Forest. Thanks, Mario. Bye! In the Master Quest ROM hack, if you chose all three items, then a Koopa Troll shows up at the final chest area saying, You thought you could get away with me that easily? I hope I hope you like the Super Soda because it's the last thing you'll ever drink or something like that. That's amazing. That is so amazing. Alright. Well, that was a rough battle, but we, we made it through it. Alright. So for the upcoming area, Quake Camera's going to be good. I definitely want to equip Payoff. So let's unequip FP plus and equip payoff, and then we're probably going to start using a lot of items. Let's use, get refund as well, just because I'm not satisfied with only a tiny amount of cash. Oh darn it! The other thing I was going to check is, see if, is, is if a Star Storm changed at all. It's it was good enough in vanilla game that it did not need to be buffed at all, but I'm afraid they might have nerfed it. He's always studying his Star Spirit. Star Sto oh, it just says it strikes all enemies. I hope it still deals 7 damage, because so many enemies in this part of the game have 7 HP, and it's just an insta-kill. Alright. Gotta get me a strange leaf. We don't even need to go back to Toe Town via Forever Forest. We've got the pipe! Oh, that's 
right. That just leads to an upgrade block, and all of our party members are upgraded. So, no point in that. Oh, I forget what Koopa Koop wanted. Oh, that's right. He wanted, um... He wanted the autograph of Merle. That's right. <laughs> oh, I love this music. Oh, no! My favorite frying pad! <laughs> I love the, I love how the shy guys take over to uh <laughs> take over Toad Town. <laughs> oh no, don't be sad. Oh, hello there, hun. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. Oh no. And she cooks everything in that cast iron skillet, so we gotta help her. Hey, you, you little skip! Get your hands off! Give me back my calculator! I can't do math without it! Shy guys are trampling all over my flower garden! Oh, the poor flowers! They were so beautiful! It was my dream to fill Toe Town with beautiful flowers! I'm so sad! Get out of the flower garden! Take that! Oh, thank you! The flowers give you their thanks as well, Mario! Oh, I didn't give her the, the third flower seed. If all four flowers of bulbs and flowers bloom, the garden will become magical. I still need two more colors. Well, I got you another one. Pro mode sets the Star Storm to four damage? What the heck? That sucks now! You brought me a seed? Thanks, I'm so pleased. Pro mode did not need to nerf all this stuff. They basically took all of the best stuff and just nerfed it into high heaven, and then took the other stuff and then just made it really powerful. I, I hope that's not true. Stop, thief! A shy guy just stole a bag of full of undelivered letters. I'm sure there were tons of important letters in that bag. Bills, cards, packages. What are we going to do? Well, we don't have to get the bills back. I also like to imagine that the Shy Guys have just taken over the radio station and are blaring their music all over Toad Town. Oh, actually, wait. What are you doing out here? A Shy Guy took over my shop! My precious shop! Please, Mr. Mario, get the Shy Guy out of my shop! <laughs> Welcome to Shy Guy's shop! Too bad I'm not going to sell anything to you, Mario. How dare you? <laughs> oh no, poor me! Mario! Way to show that little hooligan a thing or two! Hooray! Thank you so much! I'm still giving great deals at rock bottom prices, so don't be a stranger around here. Alright, I gotta check some stuff. Check my strange leaf. Check my repel gel. We're going to need that for a later time. And, uh, I'll keep the rest. Doo. We're time for the toy box already? Yeah. Ah, the words are mocking me! I need that dictionary! <laughs> oh yeah, Shy Guy's toy box is amazing. Curses! Mario! A Shy Guy stole my dictionary! Please get it back from him! I'm- I'm losing IQ points! Well, we can't have that. Let's see how my good friend Luigi is doing. Hi, bro! What's going on? <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Shy guys were everywhere. They moved like the wind. <sighs> All I managed to do was get really upset and yell. Well, I, it looks like you've got this covered, buddy. <gasps> Total power bounces. Four. <laughs> That's about right. Hey, Wanderer, I have heard many stories of your deeds. People speak very well of you. It comforts me to know that Bowser's creatures no longer loot the ancient ruins. Unfortunately, some relics are missing. This is a shame. I've heard that a Koopa was wandering around the ruins. That sounds very suspicious. You should be careful if you meet any suspicious types. Anyway, I must go. I look forward to hearing great tales of your adventures, Mousetafa. Colorado. How are you, dear boy? I've just finished my exhausting research of the ruins found by my unwavering efforts. Sadly, I did not find any treasures as valuable as I had hoped. I will press on, though, old chap. There are treasures hidden all over the world. 
I hear them calling my famous name, asking me to dig them up. All right, but we, we all know why we're here. We all know why we're here. We're here to re read Luigi's Diary. There is Luigi's Diary. Once again, my brother went on an exciting journey. Once again, he went alone. It's so unfair. I remember the carefree days when we played golf and tennis and had parties. I remodeled the house and made a secret basement. My brother has no idea. Bro, we, I literally, like, jumped down here with you, and you just pretended to not see me. It's the perfect place, place to write in you, my secret diary. <laughs> I heard that a ghost appeared in Toad Town today. It was big. Really big. And it had red eyes and a giant keeping mouth and a mustache. Because you're my secret diary, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah! I hate ghosts! What will I do if it appears at night? Come back, Mario! I'm scared! <laughs> Yikes! I can feel something behind me! Ah! Ah! I'm sure it's there! But I can't look back! No, no! Get away! I think I'll be safe if I don't freeze of fear! I'll just shut my eyes and take five steps back, and then I'll jump and dash into bed! Here I go! <laughs> Here we go! Shy Guys Toy Box is my second favorite chapter in this game. My favorite is still Chapter 5. Mount La Lava Lava Island is amazing. Take that. And good riddance. <sighs> I'm a great jumper, but my running really needs some work. A little more training and I'll be vital to your team. Alright, take it easy. I know I can't go. You go on your adventure, I don't even want to anymore. I know that it's up to you to save Princess Peach, so hurry up for my sake. I want Luigi as a party member. You know what they should do? After you beat the, ma the Master in the dojo, you should fight Luigi, and if you beat Luigi, you get him as a party member. That's what they should do. <laughs> I also just totally snubbed Rolf and didn't even ask him about his, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even ask him about his missing calculator. Did I already get the star piece over I'm pretty sure I got the star piece over here. Yeah. I forget- Oh yeah, he- Mario! Oh yeah, Twink! You didn't visit me last world. Mario! Mario! Good to see you! We found out that you defeated Tubba Blubba! I knew you could do it! I just knew it! When we heard the news, the princess was very relieved. Oh yes, I've got new information about the Honorable Star Spirits who are still imprisoned. Have you ever heard of Shy Guy's Toy Box? It seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held there. Convenient, now that the Shy Guys are attacking the, t the town. <laughs> but where on earth is Shy Guy's Toy Box? I have no idea. Oh, time is short. I have to go back to the princess now. Good luck, Mario. Princess Peach and I are always cheering you on. Hey, you! Thief! Wow, <laughs> wow. The diary entry created Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> Mario, it's you! A shy guy stole my storeroom key! I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom! What in the world do I do? I don't know. Hey, can I buy stuff? I kind of need at least one super shroom. Oh wait, another thing I want for the upcoming world is Zap Tap. Zap Tap is actually going to be quite useful against the Shy Guys. But I need 4... 4 BP. I want to equip HP+, plus, and I want to equip Refund. <laughs> Ouch! I just It just felt like I took 5 damage for some reason. <laughs> can I get... Can I do the Club 64 side quest now? Oh, that final right line just jumped into my mind. Sit tight, oh plumbing knight. Okay. The race is won, now I'm done. I'm not really one to boast, but talent, I've got the most. Now to my lyrics, raise a toast. Cha-ching, Pop Diva will now sing. Ah, uh, but I'm afraid I just can't sing without any music. Oh, drat and drear. My mind wasn't clear. Lyrics aren't the only thing Pop Diva needs again to scene. Without music, it's quite clear the Diva's voice none will hear. What shall I do? What shall I do? Who can pair my lyrics and music to? I know who! I heard a rumor that somewhere is a composer beyond compare. 
Special power his music brings. Can it help the diva scene? Mario, I'm on my knees. Won't you help me, pretty please? Here, take this and go. Find the music. Save our show. We get the lyrics. So I've got to ask. Is there any hint given in the game that this is where Shy Guy's Toy Box entrance is if you don't just turn invisible for a few seconds? Oh, I guess here. Oh no, it's Mario! But do you just have to stay in here for a couple seconds before that'll happen? Or is it like, oh, we, you're, you're supposed to have to pay Merlin to figure that out. I, I truly don't know. Alright, time for an amazing chapter. Chapter 4, Trials in the Toy Box. Oh, I love this world. I think I'm also the rare person who actually really likes the music in the toy box. Star piece! We better save and get out Goombario. I remember that one. Alright, we got Shy Guys and we've got Med Eye Guy. I don't think the Shy Guys can hurt me if I've zapped up, so let's tell on Med Eye Guy first. This is a Med Eye Guy. Med Eye Guys are emergency workers of the Shy Guy clan. They have the power to heal their wounded companions. Of course they can also attack. We better hurry up and take them out of the mix. It's a pain if we keep fixing all if they keep fixing all the damage we do. Yeah, this this world's fantastic. Oh wow, Medi guys have defense now. Okay, so they shy guys do still. They do still damage you even with zap tap. Not if you action guard though. Oh what the Alright folks, it's time to see what Star Storm does. It still takes two star powers, so it better deal more than four damage. You've been a very bad boy. Lame. That's so dumb. This is a shy guy. They're ne'er do wells. <laughs> yes, they are. Yikes. I could kind of go for another damage dodge. Oh, boy. Let's take out these guys, and then Cooper can use Power Shell. Well, Shy Guy's Toy Box just got a whole lot harder if Star Storm doesn't insta-kill all Shy Guys. Yeah, the original Star Storm dealt 7 damage pierce to all enemies. It was so much better. Also, I want to point out that with Medi Guy having defense, Bo can't actually attack him. So I can't believe I'm about to do this. Actually, no, I'm not going to bring out Paracarry. We're bringing out Goombario. Because he's better. What? You crud butt. I'm going to take you down. Even if I have to charge. Med okay, why did they give Medi guys defense? Whose idea was that? <laughs> there, die! Jeez! The Medi guy's in a Koopa Clown car, which could potentially give him defense, but we're jumping on his head. Alright. Hey, anti guy. Hmm? What do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't mess with me. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight. Good. You're a smart boy. Yeah, I'm not I'm not messing with you just yet. Oh no. 
Groove guys, I'm equipping uh, feeling fine. I am equipping feeling fine. All right. Uh, what can I take off? I don't need payoff. I do not want to get dizzy, made dizzy by these guys though. A bob bomb. Now that's something I was not expecting to see. This is a Groove Guy. Groove Guys wear strange clothes, and they can make you dizzy, and they can call in reinforcements. They suck. I think I'm just gonna take out the bob -omb. Oh, bob have defense! Never mind! <laughs> they still get electrocuted if they do that! That's why I equipped feeling fine. How did I forget that bob have defense? I don't know. We better refresh in case the, the Groove guys start, uh, attacking me. I hope they st keep trying to make me dizzy, though. Because, as you guys probably guessed, I am terrible at action guarding against Groove guys. <laughs> I'd nem I normally try to avoid them. Oh, no. Are we going to get into the infinite loop? If we keep killing Groove guys and then they keep bringing them back? Yeah, this can happen. No, bob did not show up here in the original. I also forgot that bob had defense in this, so I'm just like, oh, I'll jump on his head, I'll instantly kill him. And nope, bob said no. Stop it! Oh, okay, cool. You're just a regular Shy Guy, now we can take out the Groove Guy. I could grind for infinite experience points here, but that would be boring. Just, just get out of here, Groove Guy. That is far harder to action guard against than their, like, ding, acrobatic attack. Man, these Shy Guys are not pushovers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. In this room, we needed to find where the calculator is. Ah, uh, Spy Guy! He's not normally here. I do not like Spy Guys. <laughs> oh, boy. I am actually quite scared of the Spy Guys. I'm gonna try to avoid them at all costs. I'm also worried about Anti Guy, but at least he's optional. They better not throw anti-guys in with common enemies. That would be totally unfair. Why am I so bad at action guarding that? <laughs> Mario, you've been using me a lot. Yeah, you're the crutch character. I'm amazed at how much I'm using Cooper in this playthrough. But man, PowerShell is super good. Oh, no, 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 that's bad. That is bad. Okay, that is really bad. Dizzy dial. Okay. We got a tattle on the spy guys, at least. Great, we can't jump. Fantastic. Well. This is why I brought Super Shrooms. There we go. <laughs> Please try that. Tattle then run? I'm not running. I'm not running. Perhaps running would be the wisest move to do, but 
No. I want to get rid of the spy guys, so I'm going to hammer him, and then I'm going to power shell. Man, quick change is saving my butt. So is power shell. <laughs> now watch them both summon new guys. Okay, well, one of them summoned new guys. Oh, no! Heck no! Oh, wait, this is actually perfect. Hit him and power shell. Cooper, you are the best character in this. <laughs> in pro mode, Cooper, you are like the most useful party member. Alright, I could get the cake mix as well. But I can actually buy that at the store now, which is great. There are hidden blocks in here somewhere. I forget exactly where. There's a mystery. And we'll leave the, the rest for later. Man, Cooper, you are an absolute lifesaver. Alright, let's see what's over here. Will it actually create the mushroom? <laughs> or will Kami Cooper be like, No, Peaches are just uh, trying to screw with us. Oh, that's a mushroom. Yeah, <laughs> perfect! Mario hates this fiend, so he'll surely turn back. Uh, I think. That doesn't look like the sort of fiend that'd bother Mario. I wonder if I should really trust what Peach says. Well, it doesn't matter. King Bowser ordered it. And he's the boss. Hello there. <laughs> It's kind of interesting that we're seeing enemies from other worlds in the new worlds. Alright, easy enemies. Thus far, the only really frightening enemies are the spy guys. But I bet, I bet you the pyro guys are going to be really annoying, too. Thankfully, I don't think you encounter them until the next station. But this is also pro mode, so they easily could be like, Oh, it's like, pro there are pyro guys here. Okay, let's try that again. This time, we're actually going to line up properly. <laughs> I love the jack-in-the-box sound effect. Eeyaw! Such a classic sound effect. Alright. Here are those sky guys. Let's tattle on them to see what they're up to. Sky guys, sky guys are master balloonists. They once the, We can attack the balloon too, and once they fall, they're just like normal shy guys. I wish I had a balloon that could float. Is there really any point in doing that, though? I guess they can attack at a distance here, which could be annoying. Hmm. Do 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 do. How did I know you were gonna do that move? Alright. Actually... Nah, we're not attacking the balloons. We're taking them out the old-fashioned way. What?! I action-guarded that! 
I call bowl. I, I pressed the button at the right time. Did it drop my input? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. At least we had recently saved. Perhaps, perhaps I should leave and refill my HP before going back. That's actually probably a wise idea. After all, I did get the calculator, which means I can also now buy the new badges at Rolf's shop. Ah oh well, it happens. It's pro mode. Oh, I should also probably do the booze challenges sooner rather than later. Sorry, bud. I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius. When I find that little punk didn't... Bro, in school you're supposed to learn how to do the math before you get to use the calculator to do it for you. But here you go. Hey, buddy! Isn't that my calculator? You're telling me... You got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, in your face, Shy Guy! I can open my shop now! Aw oh, man, how can I repay you? I know, take this! This is a special badge, bud, so use it with care. The I Spy Badge. <laughs> Dad says we would have gone out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. Wow, do you suck at math that bad? <laughs> we can open the shop again! Oh, because of you! Thank you, mister! Okay. Does I Spy take zero BP? It would make sense if it did. Yeah, sweet. I like that change. Okay, and now we gotta go to Dry Dry Desert. There's a couple things we need to do in Dry Dry Desert. We also need to find Chuck Quizmo again. Alright, Dry Dry Outpost. Is Chuck Quizmo here? Yes, he is! Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite Quizmaster, Chuck Quizmo! <laughs> Question! How is Mer Lovely related to Merlin? Oh, she's not his daughter. Uh, his niece? Actually, I can't remember if I chose his daughter or his granddaughter. Dug on it. Ugh, Artie, you need to have better memory. Here you go. A composer, yes, that's me. I write songs as you can see. Wind in the desert, some mud rock. Free mine, sister. A uh, singing blister, la di da di. I'm terrific at writing music, but I think perhaps I'm not so good at writing lyrics. Hmm? What's this then? Well, uh huh. Fantastic. These are incredible lyrics. The wording is simple, yet whoever wrote them packed them with powerful feeling. It's been a long time since I was moved by something so deeply. They moved me so much I just thought of beautiful music to accompany them. Wait just a second, if only real life worked like that. Phew, I've written the perfect music for these lyrics. I caution you, though, that this music can be sung only by an expert. I know of no one up to the task. Here, take my masterpiece. We get the melody. <laughs> it's like, his music is like singing psalms in church versus singing, like, hymns or modern worship music. My older sister, my lovely, what's she want? Oh, I see, is that so? I bet I know. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Please give this to my lovely, with love from her sis Merly. We get the crystal ball! Eh, I'm not gonna get another one of her curses. And by that I mean spells. <laughs> spells, I mean, they're not curses. Hello, wanna take a nap? <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> Mario just runs into his house, takes a nap in his bed, and then doesn't even talk to him. <laughs> what a playa. Alright. <laughs> Where where's Chuck Quizmo now? I need to do some of these quizzes. These questions are deep cuts. Alright, not there. Whee! Nope, did not want to go down here. <laughs> Cooper, <was> like, <laughs> Cooper was like inching one foot at a time, like, eh, 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 eh. like, do I really have to follow you, Mario? Really? You're just running errands for Koopa Koop. <laughs> hey, he promised me star pieces and coins. <laughs> All right, let's see what. Oh, oh yes, jump charge, 
Yes, indeed. Most busted badge in the game. Auto jump. Use 2 FP to jump on an enemy with perfect timing. That's terrible. Let's definitely get group focus. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll get auto jump just to have it. I'm never going to equip it, though. Oh, yeah. Jump charges. Busted. Especially when combined with power bounce. <laughs> and flower saver. <laughs> Oh! Actually, wait. Is If memory serves, the, the panel's actually like right here. I can never remember where the panel is on this screen. Guess it's right there. Oh, hello, Mario. Uh, I, I got the crystal ball for you. <laughs> oh, mercy, thank you. I'll cherish this. And for you, here is my autograph, as promised. It'll be valuable someday. And we get the autograph. Koopa Koop wants it. Because of course he does. He, he collects autographs. Hey, yo, 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 want to trade star pieces? We got ten. And at this point, at this point, I'm just going to save up my star pieces for some of those really good badges. Nothing against the ones that I can get now, but none of them seem like I would use them all that much. So now's the part where I can become a star piece hoarder. <laughs> Cooper's like, Mario, come on, I don't have speedy spin like you. Do you have any idea how hard it is to keep up with you? <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, Rolf, did you change out any of your badges? Oh, Spike Shield is now a badge that you have to buy. Costs 2 FP. Okay, Spin Smash... Can somebody please tell me an actual use for Spin Smash? Because as far as I can tell, it's just kind of like a bad badge all around. I can't think of any situation where it's actually useful. Oh, that's right, gotta go back to Koopa Village to give old man Coot his autograph. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like using the sewer system like you do, Mario. Here's the autograph. Jumping Jungle Fuzzies, you're peerless, Mario. My word, good gracious. Oh, oh my, what beautiful handwriting. Be still, my heart. Oh, that is, this will be the heart of my collection. <laughs> this will make a fine addition to my collection. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you something special as a gift. Free star pieces, there we go. Well, in perfect timing, my man. I guess the younger generation not so bad after all. Well, the younger generation, fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but I'm not quite as mobile as I was in my Saturday days, and as a result, I feel like I'm losing touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way for me to catch up, no? Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You can tell me the news then. My eyes aren't so good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip, either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. Promise me you will. Wow. He can't even go out and get a newspaper on his own. This poor guy. A boom, boom, boom. No Chuck Quizmo here either. Did he respawn back in Dry Dry Outpost? I think that's the only place he really could be. Cause I know he just keeps cycling around the various towns. Sure enough. Alright, well, the bad news is I can't remember if I've already guessed his daughter or his granddaughter. I think I guessed his daughter. There we go. Correct! Here's your star piece. I keep having to, like, exhaust all possible options for these quizzes. You've answered 14 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's go to the question. Question. How many animal skulls decorate dry dry out? What? I don't even know what they're talking about. Two? 
I, don't, I have no idea what they're talking about. I would have said zero. Well, we can go out around and look. How many animal skulls decorate it? What are they talking about? I don't see any animal skulls. Are there some back here that I never knew about? There's two! I guess two! And there are two. What a... what a ripoff. I don't like these new Chuck Quizmo quizzes. Like, I don't mind them changing the questions, but the new questions they're asking are just like... What? Who would... who knows this? Alright, well, I guess there must be a third one somewhere that I'm missing. Maybe it's, like, inside a building. I don't know. Things I do for the Chuck Quizmo quizzes, eh? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's 9.30. I gotta end the stream pretty quick. Alright, here you are, bro. Let's get to the question. Question, how many... Okay, three? Okay, apparently that's correct. I still have no idea what they're talking about, but alright. I'm gonna assume one of the houses has a skull in it for some reason. We've answered 15 questions. Let's try the next one. Please be something that's actually, like, possible to answer. Question! What is the name of my lovely assistant here? Oh, it's Vanity. <laughs> Which is great, because it's, like, Vanity and also, like, Vanna White. Correct! Here's your star piece. She's so happy we got that right. <laughs> and we're not done yet. We're ready to try the next one. Question! What have I got in my pocket? <laughs> Street or nothing? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Come on! That's what Gollum actually said, though. <laughs> I know he actually had a magic ring, so that's what I should have said, but... <laughs> wow! That's not even related to the game at all. That's hilarious. <laughs> Stupid hobbitses! <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing that they added that question in. What if nobody- what if the people who've played this game never played The Hobbit, though? Played The Hobbit? What if they never read The Hobbit? What then? Darn it. <laughs> Hiss! You're never around when I need you! Is he at Goomba Village? If not, we're going to Toad Town and reading that paper. We're going to Toad Town, we're reading the paper. And hopefully Chuck Quizmo is near there. Yeah, and I said I should not have answered Streen or nothing, but as soon as I saw that, I'm just like, It's gotta be that! <laughs> Oh, he's not even here in Toad Town. What a jip. Toad Town News. Ghost Story Part 2. Mario's coup de boo. <laughs> Breaking news on our continuing ghost coverage. Seems that a single boo was responsible for all of the sightings in town. This boo is merely looking for a brave soul to help vanquish a boo-eating monster. Mario, of course, took the challenge and punished the great beast, freeing another star spirit in the process. Afterlife has returned to normal for the boos, so the town haunting should cease. Next week's ed editorial, Why Mario is the Man. Scribbling here is so much fun! How juicy. Alright. Well, it is a little past 9.30 now, so I gotta end the stream there. I like to keep these at an hour and a half long. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is a lot of fun. Sorry we didn't dip into Shy Guys Toy Box a whole lot, but next time we will go uh, go back there. Hopefully we can get more of those Chuck Quizmo quizzes done. As well as some more uh, Koopa Koo favors, but we'll definitely delve more into t Shy Guys Toy Box. We probably won't beat it. But, look forward to that next this coming Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great rest of your night, and God bless.